I want to tell you all a story. A story about a little boy named Alvin, who met with a very odd fate. His story is interesting, so sit and listen a while. If you're not interested, then scram. I have better things to do. To start it off, Alvin was always an interesting boy. I should know. I've watched him for most of his life. Now, before you think I'm some kind of sicko, I'm not. At least not that type of sicko. Now, as I was saying, Alvin was an interesting boy. He was diagnosed with gotorophobia, a fear of growing old, vertigophobia, a fear of being cold, and dermatogonia, burning his skin at a young age. Through the dermatogophobia, signs faded as he grew older, so that one doesn't really count. He was only about seven when he was diagnosed with these things, along with anxiety disorders and elective mutism. So the poor boy had a difficult time during his childhood. His parents, mom a doctor and father a lawyer and recovering alcoholic, didn't know what was wrong with the kid. He just wouldn't talk. Some days he would and some days he wouldn't. The boy's ergophobia came from one of his past experiences where, where when he was younger he was outside playing in the winter time. He fell into the ice water in his pond at the local town park. He was pulled up by his father, but he took some time to warm up. And that's when his mind set that fear for him. His genophobia is another story. He just hated growing up. He was actually a very smart kid knowing about death and growing old. At such a young age, Alvin came to despise it. And so his mind created that fear. What a unique kid. Am I his guardian angel, you may ask? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> pardon me, I need to catch my breath from laughing so hard. In a sense, we have similar qualities, but they're only that both angels and myself watch an individual without being seen by them. Anyway, back to my story, his parents decided to send Alvin to a public school, despite all the issues he had. You would think they would homeschool him to keep him safe, but hey, I know as much as you do about that. And I know Alvin's story, not his parents. As you may have expected, his first day didn't go as well as they all hoped. Alvin was bundled up in a thick, in thick sweaters and a jacket, his phobia getting the best of him that day, so he decided to wear all these layers to keep him warm. It was a warm September day and all the kids started, started to make fun of him for how he dressed. Not only that, but they also picked on him for not talking, and right on the first day too. By the end of the week, he had already had a nickname, Anxious Alvin. Despite all this happening, his parents never took him out of school, even though all the bullying and teasing he endured. Growing up, his school days were terrible. He was bullied to the point where he cried, and when he was only 13, he tried to kill himself. T tried to, but he was caught before the scarf could cut off his hair, and that he was trying to hang himself with. Even the teachers were fed up with his behavior, thinking that he only didn't speak because he was lazy. Needless to say, everyone gave him a pretty hard time in life. But now, now, before you get all upset, let me just tell you that this is where the story picks up. A better one, or a worse one? Well, you'll just have to find out for yourself. The important thing I'm going to focus on is his time in high school. That's where I come in.